The chair recognizes the gentleman from Arkansas. Madam Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Madam Speaker, I rise today in support of H.R. 2575, the Save American Workers Act. This, this act would restore the traditional 40-hour definition of a full-time job. Washington may think that it knows best, but that's simply not true. This provision of Obamacare is a perfect example of how the law hurts the very people it was intended to help. In Arkansas, we try to apply a little common sense. We all know 30 hours isn't full-time, but that's what Obamacare says, and no one seems to know why. We had a hearing in the Ways and Means Committee, and many of those who testified were puzzled as to why 30 hours was chosen. Even in France, a full-time job is 35 hours a week. Because of Obamacare's mandates and taxes, employers are cutting workers' hours and replacing full-time folks with part-time folks. This is real. We've seen this in Arkansas. Let me give you some examples. Arkansas State University reduced some workers to a maximum of 29 hours per week. Area aging of Western Arkansas cut hours for home health aides and drivers to 28 hours per week. Pulaski Technical College limited hours for, limited hours for adjunct faculty direct, directly impacting students' education choices. And just yesterday, I received a letter from the Arkansas Hospitality Association. They say Obamacare's 30-hour rule will hurt roughly 100,000 hospitality workers. These are folks who are working hard, playing by the rules, and trying to make it. All they want is a fair shot at success. That's what they deserve, but Obamacare has taken that away. According to research by the Hoover Institution, this Obamacare rule puts 2.6 million workers making under $30,000 a year at risk. Almost 90% of these workers do not have college degrees. Over 60% of them are women. These are good, hardworking Americans, but they may lose their hours or even their jobs thanks to Obamacare. Wasn't this law supposed to help people get health insurance? But what are they getting? They're getting no insurance and less pay. Incredible. Incredible. I want to thank my colleague and my good friend, Mr. Young, for introducing this important bill, and I urge my colleagues to join me in supporting this bipartisan solution that will help workers keep their jobs and higher wages. Madam Speaker, I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from 